At the same time period, during the destitution years, we find another of the Mackenzies of Gerloch hard at work trying to improve the lot of their tenants. And she's the second wife of the deceased Sir Francis and another trustee of, of the estate. And her name is Lady Mary Mackenzie. And she's the mother of Osgood Mackenzie of Inverview. But when she married Sir Francis as his second wife and, and came to Gerloch in the 1830s, Lady Mary began to organise training for local women to improve their spinning skills and their knitting skills. And after her husband died, she came to live at Flowerdale for about 10 years as a trustee for her stepson, Kenneth. And she really threw her energies into establishing the manufacture and the export of quality Gerloch stockings. And we know that in 1847, um, we know this from letters to the Destitution Board in Edinburgh, that she had over 100 women employed in spinning alone. She built up a market for the stockings further afield. So she promoted their sale to the merchants further afield in Edinburgh and, and even in London uh, later. And this provided much needed income for women and families during this time of, of hardship. So while the men were earning their pound and a half of meal a day, uh, building the destitution roads, the women were knitting and spinning and earning money in that way. There was a question of quality as well as quantity. So uh, according to the merchants of the time, later towards the end of the 1800s to the Highland home industry, known for the quality of the wool that was used, the beautiful colours that were used from natural dyes and the varieties of patterns. So they were soft, they were attractive, and they were durable. And although a variety of patterns were originally used, the one that has become best known and that we know today as the Gerloch pattern is the one that you see in the images. Um, so it's, it's this beautiful double diamond pattern where the diamond really stands out um, in, in contrast to the main color. We're fortunate in our collection to have quite a number of garments knitted in the Gerloch pattern, as well as the objects in the collection. We also have a, an amount of archive uh, material as well, including the chart that you see the image of here. It looks like I've put the photograph back to front, but it isn't, it's, it's because it's been um, copied that way. And this chart was used by uh, an Inverness-based specialist knitwear shop called uh, Catherine of Inverness to, to make garments for, for sale. In this case, a waistcoat. And you can see the Gerlock pattern has been embellished there with a cross in the center of the diamond. And we do sometimes see these little deviations from the, uh, the double diamond pattern. And in fact, in one example that we have in the museum, we have the, the cabaret, the, the stag's head and antlers um, of the Mackenzie crest in the center of the diamond. Socks on the right were made by Becca Macaulay, who was a school teacher um, and from uh, Oppenen on the, the, what we call the overside, the, the south side of Loch Gerloch. She was a great knitter. She revived the Gerloch pattern really in the 1970s. <laughs>